This is Martin from Lucius Entertainment and you are watching the beauty of Full Metal Jacket. Full Metal Jacket is an anti-war film that was made by Stanley Kubrick and released in 1987. It is a brilliant movie that follows a recruit nicknamed Joker through his time of training to being deployed in Vietnam. It is, in my opinion, one of the best war films that has ever been made. The true beauty of this film is watching the different characters be dehumanised and become killers. We watch these boys lose their innocence and become a cog in the machine that is the army. They lose a sense of their individuality and become these weapons of death for the military. If we look at the very first scene in the movie, it's all the recruits getting their hair shaved off to make them look all similar to each other. They lose a part of themselves that helps others identify them, which sets up the movie perfectly, for these boys are going to become the same thing, soldiers, cogs for the military machine. One of the biggest characters that change in the first half of the film is Private Pyle. He is, at the start of the movie, what Hartman would call You're a worthless piece of shit, Pyle! Hartman is the drill instructor of the movie and is trying to turn all the recruits into killing machines for the army. But a squad of recruits is only as good as the worst of you, so Pyle gets the harshest treatment from Hartman. And when Pyle fails to change because of this, Hartman punishes the other recruits for Pyle's failings. Because of this, the other recruits beat Pyle and make him feel isolated, so he is forced to change, and because of this, it works. Pyle becomes the cog of the military machine that Hartman wanted. In the end of the first half of the movie, Pyle has become the perfect killing machine, but it works almost too well as he goes insane over his harsh treatment. He now hates the world he lives in, calling it a world of shit. He ends up killing himself and Hartman. He is no longer the person he was. If we look at the second half of the movie, at the Lust Hog squads, and Animal Mother especially, they have become the perfect killing machines that Hartman envisioned. Animal Mother especially is what Hartman wanted from his recruits. He has become a killer and little else matters to him. With his helmet that reads, I am become deaf. Referring to J. Robert Oppenheimer's speech after the atomic bomb was dropped on Hiroshima. While Joker has written on his helmet, born to kill, he also has a peace symbol on him to show the duality of man. What? The duality of man, the Jungian thing, sir while Animal Mother just has the single quote that shows that he is now a true killer. The Lost Hog Squad's attitude about killing as well shows that they are the perfect killers. We see them in an interview about Vietnam and they don't really know why they are fighting in Vietnam anymore. They're just doing as they're told, following their orders and killing whoever they find. They have lost their innocence that they once had and have become weapons of death, the perfect soldier that follows orders no matter what and have become cold-blooded killers. The main character, Joker, seems to keep his individuality and innocence throughout the entirety of the movie. He still cracks jokes left and right. Listen to any of Payback's bullshit, Rafter man. Sometimes he thinks he's John Wayne. <laughs> just like he did at the start of the movie when he was introduced. Is that you, John Wayne? Is this me? Until we reach the end of the movie, when a Vietnamese sniper takes out three soldiers from the Lost Hog Squad, including Cowboy, Joker's friend from training. But it turned out it was a little girl. And Joker finishes her off, and everyone tells him that that was hardcore. Fucking hardcore. After this, Joker has lost that innocence that he's held on to for the entirety of the movie until that last minute when he has to kill that young girl. This is just reinforced with the end scene of the movie. The army is walking through a ruined city in Vietnam, singing the Mickey Mouse Clubhouse theme song, a song from their childhood, now singing it in a worn, torn country armed to the teeth and ready to kill. The movie has a lot of great moments like these, but the loss of innocence from the soldiers and their transformations into killing machines just fascinates me. Full Metal Jacket is a movie that you can re-watch and you will notice themes and little hints to the soldiers' transformation that Stanley Kubrick was trying to show. 
it was good that he was a perfectionist, otherwise we would not have this movie.